Hello and welcome, my name is Thomas and in this video I just want to show you a quick tip of how to use a PC keyboard with your Mac. Okay, so it's a really long story, but recently what I decided to do was to purchase a PC. Now this was very strange as somebody who has been using a Mac almost exclusively for I think beyond the past decade. So even ever since junior high, everything that I've been working on has been some sort of Mac, right? However, one of the things that I discovered with a number of different pieces of research that I've been doing, as well as some friends that I talked to, I discovered that uh, Windows really does work great when it comes to the world of streaming. And so since I've been doing a lot of live broadcasts, um, particularly on this channel and also for over at Notable Themes, what I decided to do was to get a PC as a streaming PC that would actually just stream my Mac. So the vast majority of the work I still do is definitely on a Mac. However, the first thing that I ran into, and I'll probably show you in a future video, uh, is switching back and forth between Mac and PC. And so as you might imagine, there's some conflicts there. And the first conflict, if you're a type of person like me who's gonna be switching back and forth, is the keyboard. Now, one of the things that I discovered is that there's actually quite a few more options out there for a PC than for a Mac when it comes to keyboard. So as I was shopping around, I found this really nice Logitech Technically, I think it's a gaming keyboard, but it's really clicky. It's very super easy to, to work with and it's uh, it's got a great feel to it. Um, so what I decided to do was to test it not only on the PC, but also on the Mac. Turns out really liked the keyboard. So I decided to just use it primarily on my Mac. Now, the first thing that you'll notice if you're somebody who's been using a PC is that it's got the Windows key, it's got the Alt, the Control and those four keys kind of in that area, including those three, uh, are kind of reversed or mixed up as opposed to the uh, control alt command key that we're used to on the Mac. And then of course on a Mac, there's no Windows key as you would imagine. So fortunately, it's really simple to remap these keys on a Mac if you should so decide that you wanna start using a Mac or using a PC or Windows keyboard with your Mac. So like I said, maybe you just really like one of these Windows keyboards out there. I can leave a link below of the one that I am currently using, or maybe you just got an extra keyboard laying around and you just wanna use it with your Mac when you're in a pinch. This should come in really handy. So let's pop on in and take a look at how to set this up. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do you're going to open up your preferences and then as you might imagine it's going to be in the keyboard section so we're just going to click on keyboard and then over here you have a lot of options but all we're going to do is we're going to click over on modifier keys uh, so let's see we'll click back over here modifier keys there we go now one of the things that i noticed as well with this particular keyboard that i'm using is that it has software that goes uh hand in hand with this particular keyboard since it lights up and it does all these different things so the software does handle some of these however for the basic key mapping you can do this so right now i've got this just kind of other generic keyboard that's set up as well but as you can see if you click this it's got a drop down of all the different keyboards that you have connected to this Mac. So for example, the Magic Keyboard is gonna be the kind of general Mac wireless keyboard. And as you can see, each of these things are just kind of mapped to what they are supposed to be. So each of these are here. So uh, I've already gone through and done this. So all you really have to do is if you want to start using a Windows keyboard is just copy what I'm doing here. So Pro Gaming Keyboard, and here's how I've remapped it. Uh, the caps lock key I didn't change since the caps lock is in the same place both for the Windows and for the Mac. But here's what you want to start to change, particularly for the uh, for the control key. You want to make sure that you change that to options. So that's going to be the option key. The next thing that you want to do is you want to change this particular. I don't know what that's supposed to stand for, but you want to change that key to be command. I think, I could be wrong, I think that's the Windows key, obviously uh, the equivalent of the Windows key on a Mac keyboard. We wanna change that to command. Then the command key, we wanna change that to option. 
and then if you have a function key, I keep that as function. However, if you want to remap something else to be the function key, you can do that as well. Those are the settings I used. It seemed to work. If for whatever reason you want to kind of remap those further, you can do that. Um, but those are kind of the settings that work best for me. So that's it. Just a really quick tip today. This is one of those things that took me a lot more research than I was expecting to have to find in order to know how to do that. So maybe it'll just get you thinking if you want to use a Windows keyboard with your Mac, it is possible. Of course, you will have to deal with that Windows key. And so if you're somebody who likes to look at your keys, obviously you're just gonna have to kind of live with that muscle memory of what you were doing previously with the Mac keyboard. But again, hopefully that's helpful. If you did find this useful, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hey, so I get asked all the time how I make my videos. So I decided to put together for you a free one hour training, which I'm calling the seven pillars of effective video. Again, this is totally free. So click the box in the top right hand corner of this video. You can also head on over to rightly.tv slash training. Again, this is totally free. Head on over to rightly.tv slash training.